What's going on guys? It is finally time to install the ctsvbrakeswap.com uh, ATS Brembo kit on my car. So what you buy from ctsvswap.com is the brackets, spacers, and hardware. This kit is not available yet, but we're looking around summertime for it to be available. You can contact Tanner at ctsvswap.com uh, uh, for more information. Um, but here's the calipers that I picked up. So you buy the bracket kit and then you source all the parts yourself. These are genuine ATS Brembos. Um, I finished them in a prismatic dark silver metallic, applied decals, and uh, a powder clear. Uh, they, are, they are all media blasted. They are not chemical etched. I rely solely on mechanical uh, bond when I do things. I do not ever rely on chemical adhesion. Um, that's why your STI stock Brembos, the minute you hit it with a tire, the, uh, the paint comes off or the powder coat comes off because they did not etch the surface. Uh, they chemical etched it, which does not anchor the surface. You need to anchor the surface when you're powder coating. When that powder goes into its molten stage where it flows out, it fills in those little dimples and dents that you used, that you created when you media blasted and it locks the locks the powder coat onto the surface. Um, so these are the ATS Brembos. Uh, these are genuine GMs. These are STI, re STI reps from a 2017. Um, I had both of them side by side. Literally castings are almost identical. I did swap out the seals in these calipers when I rebuilt them to uh, the actual Brembo seals, which might be higher temp, but who knows? I just, peace of mind, I just, upgraded the seals. Uh, there was nothing wrong with the original seals. I could have reused them, but I just put the Brembo seals in. So I also got brake pads, Brembo front and rear, 12 millimeter spacers for the rear. You're gonna need 12 millimeter spacers for the rear because your track in the front is gonna be widened by 11 millimeters. Um, but you don't necessarily have to uh, keep the cost down. You could always do spacers later for the rear. Um, Nothing. You don't have to do all of this at once, or most of this at once. Um, like the APR studs in the rear and the spacers in the rear. If you really wanted to, you could skip that for now and do it later. You're obviously going to need APR wheel studs for the front end, since you're widening it up 11 millimeters. The stock lugs are going to be too short. Here's the bracket kit and uh, rotor spacers. I chose DBA for rotors, slotted only. I never ever run on a performance vehicle drilled rotors. Uh, they're kind of stressed and they tend to crack when they overheat or get hot. Um, so yeah, let's go through a parts list and uh, pricing. Front rotors, 368.18. Uh, rear rotors, 314.70. If you want, you can use Amazon or eBay rotors and you can get the pair or all four for like 290 bucks, which is substantially less than what I paid. Uh, front pads, 82.15. Rear pads, 47.48. Hardware kit for the ATS Brembos to hold the pads, 25.93. Adapter brackets from ctsswap.com, 230. Um, that kit right there is not the one that's on production right now. Um, the kit that I ordered from them originally had three millimeter spacers and um, uh, I was informed later on that the that kit would not work. <coughs> All right, so this kit, the, the, like I said, the bracket kit includes brackets, spacers, and hardware. Um, so the kit that was for the prior generations of WRX was 230. Um, so you can expect that that kit's probably going to go up a hundred dollars or more a little bit more um, which is still which at the end of everything still makes this the cheapest brake swap possible um so dba rotors brake kit or brake kit apr studs uh i picked up the muteki lugs uh, because i'm running three inch wheel studs i needed to have open-ended lugs um so 65 dollars apr lug studs minimum you need is two packs at 44.73 a set. Stop tech rear lines 57.88. Stop tech front lines 65.59. 12 millimeter spacers pair 
was $39.49. Brake fluid was $8.48, and I got picked up two bottles. STI calipers reps were $141 for the pair. ATS Brembo Left Genuine GM, $114.99. ATS Brembo Right Genuine GM again, $140.99. <coughs> Total was $1,740.92. So this is the cheapest and most efficient brake swap possible. Um, comment, like, subscribe. I'll be doing the install this weekend or maybe this week. I don't know. It just depends on what this weather's going to do. Looks like today's going to rain, so obviously not today. Um, but really stoked to get this on. Comment, like, subscribe. Uh, consider joining the channel. And until uh, next time, peace.